Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create awesome light leaks using gradients. So this is a cool effect that you can use to bring an image together. And it also just creates a cool effect that you can add on any image if you have a light source. So in this case, we have you know the two lights on each side. I usually do it as well if we have the sun that is um, our light source coming in one direction. So let me show you the before image here. Before image is kind of dark and just pretty contrasty so that's why I decided to add this gradient and it really brings together the image and it makes it look really nice let me show you how to do this super simple you just create a blank layer and I'm just gonna call it gradient and what you're gonna do is hit G on the keyboard or go over here to your gradient tool and then we're gonna use a generic gradient that comes with Photoshop in this case I'm just gonna use this brown one right here so another thing is you need to make sure that it is on this one the gradient that goes from left to right you don't want it on the circular gradient because that's what it does and then you don't want this one because it's just weird so we're gonna go to this gradient that goes left to right thing is though the lights are going left to right so what you need to do is create the gradient from top to bottom see that so it simulates the lights going straight across that way So once you created that you're gonna use the blending mode the screen blending mode right here I usually use this screen blending mode whenever I want to create a sort of light leak because it just simulates it the best it, it has sort of this foggy look and it looks really nice you can use other blending modes I like hard light which is sort of cool it, it creates you know a similar light leak effect but it also sort of destroys the rest of the image over here um, there's different ones like overlay which looks okay and then soft light doesn't really do too much pin light looks weird hard light looks even weirder so anyway that is why I use a screen blending mode is because it just looks the best and it simulates the you know light source okay so once you have that gradient there you just want to turn down the opacity because that's a little bit strong so it's something around there 40 percent 38 percent now I don't really want to fog this whole image I just want sort of a light streak to go across that way and then maybe one down here so what you can do at this point is go to your eraser and my opacity is set at about 23% and I'm just going to create some more contrast in here by erasing you can see there it's erasing some of the gradient and then same with up top because I don't want my whole image to be fog, fogged like I said so something like that looks pretty good so there you go that is how you create an awesome light leak and it brings the image together looks a lot better now I'm going to go over to this image right here this is uh, just a normal wedding image if you couldn't tell and you know we can add an awesome gradient from this side that looks like a light leak from the sun um, that creates a nice effect so same thing all you do is just create a, a layer and just call it gradient and this time though we're going to so hit G on the keyboard this time we're going to create a custom gradient so just click on this one right here that goes from the the color to nothing I guess to transparent you click on that and just click on um, that up there to pick your color so now just click on this little box right here to choose your actual color and what we want to do is pick a color that simulates sunlight but just a little bit brighter so maybe sort of an orange yellowish something like that and just click OK and now you have your custom gradient right there so now when you go left to right it's going to go from the color to a transparent color you know um, so what you want to do is just create that and then go to the screen blending mode once again now it's a little too powerful so we're just going to take it down a tiny bit and it makes for a nice effect just something really subtle that can um, add a lot to your wedding images and in this case to a dancer's image Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check out Composite Planet for more free tutorials, free resources and products, and I will see you again soon.